Hello, my name is Wade Goria. I'm an historian and a lecturer for the National Lighthouse Museum here in St. George, Staten Island. If we go back to um, March the 3rd of 1851, this is a time when the Lighthouse Board is established. People who are very determined to update, to modernize the uh, Lighthouse uh, uh, establishment and um, also bring new um, advances into the Lighthouse establishment uh, and that mainly concerned the adoption of new Fresnel lights that were being uh, built by France and Britain uh, that were dramatically improving the um, quality of the uh, and range of the lights that were in lighthouses. There is a desire on the part of um, Washington to find a new depot. This becomes the third district of the U.S. Lighthouse Board. And it also, by 1860, is going to develop into what they call a super depot. Uh, it's going to have many more facilities than um, other depots in the United States. This will be the place where Fresnel lights are going to arrive from either London or, or France uh, and be stored here and then sent to whatever uh, lighthouse uh, needed them. This building here, the um, building number 11, the foundry building uh, or the machine shop, uh, would open as the National Lighthouse Museum. Immediately on your right as you walk in, you'll see a map of the world. In fact, we have a number of maps of the world here where people have placed pins uh, on the spot where they're from. This was a place um, that was dedicated to repairing lighthouses and providing aids to navigation. But what we do have here is a structure that's shaped like a lighthouse called the Hall of Lights. And we have a beautiful um, collection of uh, lighthouses. Many of them were manufactured by a company called Harbor Lights, which did an astounding job at reproducing uh, in great detail um, uh, lights from throughout the world. There, were ten, there are 10,000 lighthouses in the world. Our museum is very proud of many of the placards and uh, uh, informational boards that we've uh, uh, provided uh, museum goers. Um, one of them uh, concerns this timeline, which focuses on the developments of uh, lighthouses in the United States. Um, there's a shot of George Washington here, and for those of you not aware, both George Washington and Alexander Hamilton play a very, very important role in the development of what became the uh, U.S. Lighthouse Establishment uh, by sponsoring a congressional bill, the first infrastructural project in the United States uh, to federalize and build lighthouses from Maine down to Georgia. We have an exhibit here of some of the items that were made um, at the General Depot and uh, one of the things that uh, we like to emphasize to tourists who, who come to the museum is that absolutely everything in this museum was made from raw materials from scratch, with the exception of the Fresnel lights, which were produced in um, uh, France or England and were, of course, extremely delicate uh, objects that had to be uh, transported in the most careful way uh, um, across the Atlantic Ocean. Bob Isley is one of our great volunteers and one of the most knowledgeable people that you could ever meet about this, uh, about this museum. He's affectionately known as Patches. And the reason for that has to do with all of these amazing patches that Bob collected. Um, I understand there's over 2,000 of them. Um, and they're from all over the Western Hemisphere. Um, Every one of these patches is distinguished by a lighthouse. Now, what we're looking at here is a map of the New York metropolitan area showing um, lighthouses uh, in both New York City and the outlying areas. There are nine lighthouses in New York City um, and 27 in the New York metropolitan area. It should be remembered 
that our Lighthouse Keepers Gala uh, honors these great lighthouse keepers who were the mainstay of the lighthouses. Uh, many of them worked their whole lives at lighthouses and were highly professional, highly skilled, and very dedicated people. These various lights are uh, examples of what you'd find on a lighthouse ship. Uh, there was a time when lighthouse ships were very popular in the 19th century, and it was thought that they would be um, able to possibly um, remain at um, dangerous places while uh, ships could be warned uh, of um, impending storms or dangerous shoals. A after you've had a chance to learn about how lighthouses uh, played a critical role in developing America's commerce and trade, a visit to the gift store we think would be a great idea.